Professor Diego, and welcome to another episode of Animating with MovieZoo. In this episode, we'll be learning how to create sets using keyframes, because keyframes can help us in creating our environments. How you say? Well, let's take a look at the board, and I'll explain. When you use keyframes to put things together, keyframes, in other words, turns off the frictions between objects, and then the objects can be pieced together without pushing away from each other. So, in the timeline, we would create two zones, a safe zone where we can place our keyframes when we create with the keyframes, and an animating zone where we can animate using the keyframes. When we make our zones, we just place a cue point somewhere at the beginning of the timeline. I would prefer to place two cue points so you would know that this is your safe zone and you won't get confused about where not to animate. After we have created our two zones, the next thing we need to do after we import our objects is to put them in keyframe mode and place a keyframe for each object somewhere in our safe zone. But be sure not to move the slider because after we place that first keyframe, we want all of the other object's keyframes to be in that same position. Now that we got all of our objects put together within our safe zone, we can start animating within our animating zone and start making our video. <laughs> Bit confused, are you? I figured some would be. Tell you what, just follow me and I'll give you a virtual explanation on how all of this works. Now, here we are in a movie zoo world. And as you can see, we already have one wall with a space for a window, a solid wall, and a window. If we try putting them together, they will work just fine by touching each other, but they're not actually connected. If we get closer to get a better look, you can see they're not actually touching. Now, of course, you could ignore that and fake your video without any notice. But what if you decide to make some changes, or something jumps out of its place while animating? That's because we have friction in between objects that sometimes doesn't want to cooperate. So we have to turn off the friction. And the only way to do that is to put all of our objects into keyframe mode. So let's right click on an object, like one of our walls, in the Edit tab, select Direct, and then Movement. In the Direct Objects Movement window, select Keyframe and click on Switch to Direct. Now, our timeline pops up, and it's time to create our Safe Zone and our Animating Zone. To do that, grab the timeline and stretch it enough so we can make our Safe Zone. And then let's grab the beginning of the timeline and move it so there is an empty area like so. And then place two cue points at the end of that empty area to create our safe zone. Now let's place a keyframe for the selected wall. Then select the other wall and do the same thing after putting it in keyframe mode. Just remember not to move the slider because we want to keep all the keyframes for all objects in the same position. Now, let's move the two walls together, then right click on each and click on lock to lock the two walls so we can't accidentally move them. If we get a closer look, we can now see that the two walls are now connected and there is no more gaps and we no longer have to worry about them jumping or pushing away from each other. And having them lock keeps us from moving them accidentally. Now, let's grab the window and try placing it into the open space. You can see that friction won't let us put in our window. 
So we'll have to put the window in keyframe mode. Just right click on the window, then go to direct, then movement. Select keyframe, then switch to direct, and remember not to move the slider, and place a keyframe in that same spot like we did for the two walls. Now, grab the window again and place it into the open space. We now have our window where it needs to be. Just right click and select lock to lock it. We have created a start for a room of a house set by putting the objects into keyframe mode and placing keyframes within our safe zone and leaving us the animating zone to animate our video. And that's how we can create with keyframes. And with this method, we can create all kinds of sets and scenes. Just remember your safe zones and your animating zone. Also, when you're creating, always save your progress after every little change and add-on. You'll never know when something will happen. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you found it useful and helpful. Until next time!